What's good everybody? SG Scouts here back with another video. Today we're going to be looking at former Clemson captain, former national champion, and newest Philadelphia Eagles DB, Kayvon Wallace. And I must say he was a very entertaining guy to scout. And I do really like him. Um, and we're going to be talking about how his unique skill set will transfer to the NFL. But firstly, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. I'm going to be uploading every day this week, so don't miss that content. Let me know if there's a player you want to see in the next video. And without further ado, let's get right into it. For the Clemson defense, Kayvon played a variety of positions, mainly played nickel corner, but he also did play a lot of free safety um, in the college playoff versus LSU and Ohio State, which we're going to be watching here shortly. He played a lot of nickel. But here, looking at this play from the national championship, um, what makes Kayvon so fun to watch is his relentless pursuit. I mean, this guy on every play, you're going to see him making a tackle, running across the field. He never stops, man. So here on this play, we got him at the top of the screen. LSU is going to run um, inside with man blocking across the board. You're going to see Justin Jefferson matched up against Kayvon. We're just going to see on this play, he shrugs Kayvon, or he shrugs Justin Jefferson off. And he's going to start on the opposite side of the field. And he's still going to get in there to make the tackle. It's just impressive stuff. And you're going to see this consistently on tape from him. Just that very good competitive toughness. Setting the tone for this Clemson defense early in uh, the national championship. Just to let you guys know, the beginning of this video is going to be dedicated to just highlighting the pursuit and hustle that Kayvon plays with. On this play, is going to be the safety dropping into the box. Tex a is going to run a quarterback sweep away from him. So he's going to have to work across the line of scrimmage and locate the quarterback. He's going to show good mental processing here to do what I just said. And it runs support, man. He, he truly commits like a safety, man. He looks to lay the boom on the quarterback right there. Gets hype, gets in his teammates' faces, man. I'm hype. I can't imagine what his teammates felt like. Just very physical. Considering that the Eagles lost Malcolm Jenkins this offseason, man, I could see Kayvon stepping in there and being that uh, tone setter replacement for them. On this play, he's going to be working in the slot against Justin Jefferson yet again, and he's going to be blitzing off the edge. Uh, Clemson's going to be running a fire blitz, and LSU's going to run um, what should be a pretty good play against it as they're going to run a swing screen to the running back um, in the direction of the blitz. And you're going to see that Kayvon actually is able to track down the blitz even though he's working in the exact opposite direction. You're going to see just non-stop motor from this guy, man. Just super fun to watch. And he's just a straight tone setter, man. He tracks down this play, shows off that very good vertical speed. Also tested as a 74th percentile spark athlete, um, adjusted spark athlete. Just very fun to watch, man. And this is the last hustle play, I promise. This at the end of the national championship. LSU's already got this game in the bag. And, I mean, he just does not stop playing. Just very high football character. As we're going to see him lined up in the slot. LSU's going to run uh, an inside power. And the RB's going to do well to get to the outside. You're going to see Kayvon just track this plate down, man. This guy does not stop, man. There's probably a 15 more plays I could show you of him showing this kind of very good vertical speed and pursuit. And a good mental processing to take a good angle to the ball carrier and stop him short of the end zone. Just very good stuff. On this play, we're going to see Kayvon display good mental processing here as he's the safety in the box number 12. And Texas a and is going to be running an outside zone in his direction. And we're going to see how he maintains gap integrity as he is responsible for that D-gap outside of the tight end. As this play flows toward him, we're going to see him automatically understand where that play is going. Staying outside of that tight end, working through blocks, working through the traffic, and then being physical at that tackling point. Taking another look here. 
just quick reaction. Lands his hands on this receiver, use that good play strength. And there he is making the tackle. Great stuff. Now when it comes to Kayvon in coverage, um, I think he's pretty good in zone coverage. I think that's where he's most comfortable by far. And Clemson, uh, Brent Venables did a really good job of scheming him um, towards his strength as he is best when he's using his athleticism and reading and reacting to routes developing in front of him. As you're going to see here, Clemson's going to present press across the board, making this look like man coverage, uh, cover two man with the two safeties deep. But what it really is post-snap is Tampa 2, and Kayvon's going to drop into a hook zone on the number two receiver at the bottom of the screen. And you're just going to see him use that explosiveness, reading the quarterback's eyes, and breaks on this play, almost had a pick six. Would like to see better ball skills, but man, he just uses that speed in zone so effectively. Now, where I like him most in coverage is when he's working in the middle of the field in either a hook slash curl zone. Um, LSU is going to be running a strong flood to the weak side on this play away from Kayvon, but there will be two crossing routes entering his zone from two receivers at the bottom of the screen. We're going to see him comfortably pass off that first one and then come right back and attack the second one. A little the action didn't come to him. He did uh, display solid understanding of that route concept and then also displayed that fluid movement throughout the play. When it comes to man coverage, um, he does have some deficiencies, which we'll talk about soon. But on this play, he displays that good discipline and understanding of leverage as he's going to play outside shade in this cover one man knowing that he has help on the inside. We're going to see Justin Jefferson does beat him off the snap. But due to his positioning, he wasn't uh, beat too badly and that allowed him to come back and make a play on the ball here. As he uses good positioning there and recovery speed to stop this route for basically no gain. Now Kayvon can use his athleticism in coverage in a variety of ways. And this play is going to show how you can use it to recover on routes as Clemson's going to run a cover zero blitz with Kayvon uh, working in man against KJ Hill in the slot, the number three receiver. He's going to have inside help from the uh, linebacker who's playing a hook zone. But KJ Hill's going to run a 10 yard over route and get past that linebacker. And at that point, Kayvon's going to have to get on his horse to recover. As you'll see here, he gets there, makes a play on the ball. Great stuff. Just displays the way you can use that speed to recover, even in tough situations like this one. Another area where I think he is valuable is as a blitzer. On this play, he's going to be working on the top of the line of scrimmage, and he's going to be blitzing off the edge. He's going to have to work through the tight end to get to the quarterback. He's going to display good play strength and Heavy hands just lands them, get off me, just uses that quickness to get to the quarterback. Great closing speed. This is an area where I'd love to see the Eagles use him as a, a blitzing weapon. They already have a good pass rush, but um, this can just uh, spike that even more. Here's another clip where he just uses that explosive athleticism to make a play. Initially working uh, as that nickel cornerback against the number two receiver here on the strong side. We're just going to see him flash through that B-gap to the quarterback as a blitzer. Just using that speed. Gets there so quickly, affecting this pass, leading to an interception. And this is just what makes him so valuable. Just the variety of ways he can make a play on defense. Just impressive. Now for all the strengths that he shows on the field, he still does have some weaknesses. Uh, specifically his route anticipation and primarily when he's working out of man coverage he just doesn't really recognize um, or he doesn't anticipate breaks at all and that is something that isn't easy to improve um, on this play Clemson will be playing uh, a cover two blitz um, with man across the board but the two safeties will be playing deep zones you're going to see Kayvon on the bottom of the screen working against the number two receiver in off coverage you're just going to see as this receiver works at the top of his route on this post, Kayvon jumps for that first step, doesn't land his hands, which I'd also like to see him uh, 
you know, show some sort of subtle physicality to knock the receiver off his route. If he's not going to anticipate what the receiver is going to do, he should at least show some sort of physicality. But you can just tell that he, he was struggling to read that route and got beat pretty badly. Um, and in that situation, I'd like to see him. I'd like to see him force the throw to the outside, as that is the strong side of the field. Um, you know, force a harder throw for the quarterback if you're going to guess which way he's going. But definitely don't give up the middle of the field when you don't have help. This play sort of summarizes um, all the deficiencies that he has in coverage. As we're going to see him here in man coverage against the number two wide receiver at the top of the board. Playing off. We're going to see how this play develops. Kayvon's going to begin the play trying to outside shade this receiver and force him inside. You know, see at the top route, doesn't anticipate that break well at all. Doesn't really land his hands. Sort of just bear hugs him. I'd like to see him land his hands, you know, on the chest, maybe the waist. But, and he also, you can tell at the top throughout, he's slow to flip his hips and his feet just stop. Doesn't really trust his technique when he's um, in man coverage, which causes a lot of his issues. And... Yeah, I mean, just the combination of feet, hips, hands, everything went wrong on this play. And these are all things he's going to have to work on to become a more consistent player in coverage. Athleticism can only take you so far in coverage without route anticipation. And that's going to make Kayvon uh, susceptible to quick slants like on this play. As you can see at the top of the route, the receiver is going to use a trigger step outside. And Kayvon just showed little to a no sign of anticipation on that play and this is also going to set him up for double moves as he, he knows he'll be playing from behind and Eagles corners do have a history of being susceptible to double moves so you know it's something that Kayvon going to have to work on um, a lot to become more reliable in man coverage at the next level when it comes to press coverage I think he still has a ways to go before he can be considered reliable. On this place, he'll be working on the bottom of the screen against number six. What I really don't like about this play is this first sort of wide split step that he does. And I think that's um, sort of due to him panicking and not really having a plan as to what he's going to do. As you're going to see, his hands and his feet are not in coordination as he did this wide split step. And his hands are still, uh, you know, at waist level. I like to see him land his hands. Um, early if he's going to be aggressive with that first step. That puts him in bad position off the bat as he's already forced to do this sort of late hip turn and he's just grabbing onto this receiver down the field. Um, ended up looking like a good rep, luckily because the receiver just ran sort of a go route. But if that receiver had to break back inside, that definitely would have been a holding call or even break outside. He's got to watch his hands at the top of um, these routes as well. And when you get behind in a route, bad things happen. On this play, you're going to see he gets behind um, in this route yet again, and it's going to lead to him holding the receiver down the field. And I mean, you know, these are costly penalties that are going to cause um, teams to get first downs. Just got to hold that jersey throughout the route there. Now to give my final thoughts on Kayvon Wallace and summarize what we saw on tape. As always, this is the 7 point grading scale that we will be using with 4 being that solid NFL average value. Looking at his strengths, I mean you guys saw those first 3 or 4 clips. He just doesn't stop on the field, man. Non-stop motor. You're always going to see him at the bottom of basically every tackle pile. Just a very active player on the field and that's a combination of effort and then is also his very good athleticism and then he also displays good ability uh, in the run game with his ability to uh, locate the ball carry and work through blocks to get to him he's a reliable tackler and I think he's a versatile defensive weapon with his blitzing ability now looking at areas for concern I mean that route anticipation you know, I think it really did hurt his stock and it's something he's going to have to work on because just way too many times he was getting behind on routes. And then also I think he should become more physical in coverage, um, you know, help him disrupt um, receivers and not make it easy for them. 
And then also he just needs more polish with his coverage technique. And he is tight-hipped, which, um, you know, does limit him a bit in coverage. And this is the final projection. With this being the final projection, this is the end of the video. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm going to be uploading every day this week. So make sure to not miss that content. And yeah, I'm out.